Assalamualaikum. Today we are going to um, learn about analyzing the audience. Okay, when we talk about analyzing the audience, first thing that we need to have is the audience centeredness. So, as a speaker, even though we choose our own topic, but we have to uh, consider who our audience is. So, we need to know whether they like our topic or not. So this is what we call as audience centeredness. So basically audience centeredness refers to keeping audience foremost in mind at every step of speech preparation and presentation. So basically even though you have chosen the topic that you want to present but still you need to consider the audience aspects because if you present on something that the audience do not like, so you will not get attention from the audience. And basically, as a good and effective presenter of speaker, you have to choose a topic that will attract the attention of the audience. So this requires you to make some preparations before the presentation and as well as you need to make your presentation as effective as possible during the presentation. So this is what we call as audience centeredness. Okay, so when we want to have the idea of audience centeredness, we need to have the questions and among the questions that we can ask ourselves before the presentation or before we prepare for the presentation is the first one to whom am i speaking so it refers to the audience but who are your audience second what do i want them to know believe or do so what is your expectation about your audience so what you want them to know about your content subject that you are presenting what you want them to know about um, what you want them to believe of whatever you say and what you expect them to do after your presentation so these are the questions that you need to ask yourself before you start preparing for the presentation and the third question is what is the most effective way of accomplishing that aim so in order for you to achieve those objectives that you have underlined just now, okay, what you expect the audience to know, what do you expect the audience to believe, uh, what do you expect the audience to do after the presentation. So these are the goals of your presentations in terms of the audience. So you have to ask this question further what is the most effective way of accomplish uh, accomplishing that in so how are you going to make your presentation effective worth it so that you can achieve those objectives the three objectives that you have underlined in terms of your audience all right so first thing we need to identify the effective speakers as effective speakers seek to create a bond with their listeners who are the audience by emphasizing common values goals and experiences so like i have shared before in our class effective speaker they do not only provide information that they want to share with the audience but they also share the same common values they also share the same values they, they also share the same goals with the audience okay so like in our public speaking classes your audience are your friends and basically what you want to know about your topic your audience also want to know so basically in terms of our classes you don't have any problem but when you go further outside the class when you graduate okay you become a speaker a public speaker so you have to analyze your audience carefully all right again when we talk about the audience we have to know the demographic audience analysis so we have to analyze our audience in terms of demographic so what is the what are the demographic audience analysis so first you need to analyze the audience okay where you need to focus on the age from which range of age your audience are the gender okay because we are aware that 
males and females audience they basically have um, different interests boys they might like to know more about you know for example video games and girls they more like to know about uh, for example uh, cooking so you have to identify a majority of your audience are among males or among females for example okay I give you one example one situation where you want to present about the informative presentation in front of your friends uh, where majority of them are girls for example and you have like five or six students uh, male students only and if you present on you give information something about uh, let's say uh, football uh, English Premier League do you think that this will attract attention of most of your audience basically we know that girls they don't like footballs so when it's very important for us to analyze our audience in terms of gender because we do not want to present something that will not att uh, attract the audience attention next is the racial ethnic cultural background religion as well as group membership and as i said just now uh, talking about our classes our public speaking class you don't have that much problem in analyzing your audience because your audience are among your friends who uh, 100 percent of them are malays muslims in terms of really racial ethnic and religion as well as cultural background you don't have any problems okay and uh, it's just that you have to know uh, what is their preference and let's say uh, they have something that they don't know before this but they uh, have the interest to know <laughs> so you might need to choose that topic okay uh, then we go to the next analysis the audience analysis the next one is situational audience analysis what is situational audience analysis it is um, an analysis that usually builds on demographic analysis. So situational audience analysis and these traits include the size of audience. So you have to know how many audience that will attend your presentation and as well as the physical setting. So when we talk about situational audience analysis, there are actually three characteristics of situational audience uh, analysis the first characteristic is disposition towards topic okay what is disposition towards topic a uh, we have to actually the first characteristic is where we need to ask these questions okay the first one will the audience like the topic the topic that you have chosen okay to present you need to ask a question will my audience like the topic that i have selected the second question under this characteristic that is disposition towards topic is how much does the audience know about the topic so you have to answer these questions if my audience like this topic how much they like okay 90%, 50% or maybe 30% only. And the third question that you need to ask under this characteristic is what will their attitude be about the topic? If they like the topic and they have the tendency to like like 70%, but what will be their attitude? How they are going to react? towards the topic so you have to analyze this and you have to answer these questions in order for you uh, to be effective speaker okay the second characteristics under situational audience analysis is disposition towards speaker just now we talk about disposition towards topic where you need to analyze your audience based on the topic second characteristics of Situ uh, situational audience analysis is disposition towards a speaker so you need to ask a question 
how credible is the speaker? When we want to analyze our audience, we have to know that it is not only the audience that will contribute to you becoming the effective speaker, but we ourselves, you yourself as a speaker, also contributes to be effective speaker. So that is why we need to ask questions under this characteristic that is disposition to a speaker. And the question is, how credible is the speaker? And the speaker is you. So you have to ask the question, how good am I in this particular topic that I have chosen? Am I having enough information, knowledge to talk about this topic? So you need to ask that question. Okay, the third characteristics of, dispo uh, of situational audience analysis is disposition towards occasion. So you have to ask these questions. The audience will have a predetermined idea how long the speech will be and what it should consist of. So basically, you need to have this expectation that is, the audience that will come to your presentations are those people who have some kind of, um, we call it prior knowledge of what you want to talk about. And uh, they have already got some expectations how long uh, your presentations will be based on what should be the content of your presentation. That is why uh, for example, in a, you know, like in a seminar or conference, audience or participants of the conferences, usually they will uh, choose which session that they want to attend based on the information that they got about those uh, every single particular session of the uh, presentations. And why? Because also the audience also, they want to attend to a presentation that they have a predetermined idea what the presentation is all about. Okay, so how are we going to analyze our um, audience based on situational audience analysis? And what we need to have is actually we need to make a very quick survey uh, research about and to, to have about audience where we need to gather information about the audience by asking those questions that I have shared with you and how are you going to ask those questions is uh, depending on what types of questionnaire that you want to what type of questions that you want to provide in the in the questionnaire so there are several types of questions like fixed alternative scale or open-ended okay what is fixed alternative fixed alternative is a questions where you have already provided the answers and audience needs to or your respondents needs to uh, choose which is their preference and then scale is scale questions is where you you give a question and you ask your uh, respondents to answer to choose from scale 1 until scale, scale 5 or maybe up to 10 for example and open-ended question is when uh, you give a question and it requires your your audience or res, your respondents to answer by giving uh, answers based on their own uh, sentence okay so means that you don't provide answers or options for your audience or respondents to answer okay now we move to adapting before speech it means the preparation that you need to do so how are you going to adapt yourself before you start your presentation it is by assessing how your audience is likely to respond to what you say in your speech. So before you start the presentation, you must anticipate a number of questions that might be asked by the audience. And this is how uh, the process of adapting speech is likely to be. Next one, 
how are you going to adapt your speech before the presentation is by adjusting what you say to make it as clear, appropriate and convincing as possible. So you need to make a rehearsal. You have to prepare yourself, do several uh, rehearsals if you can before the presentations and rehearse yourself as well to answer the anticipated questions that might come from the audience. Okay, then we move to adapting during the speech. So how are we or how are you going to adapt yourself during the presentations? Okay, this is by adjusting for unexpected um, circumstances. So even though you have made a thorough preparations for the speech where you have already anticipated several questions from your audience, still, if you want to adapt yourself during the speech, you have to expect some unexpected circumstances that might happen during your speech. Okay, so how are you going to um, handle that kind of situation? Second one is by keeping an eye out during your speech for audience feedback. So do not just read the notes or look at the wall or read the uh, notes from your slides but you have to keep your eye throughout your audience so that you can expect if there are any uh, feedbacks uh, immediate feedbacks from your audience okay so that is basically about uh, analyzing the audience before you start your presentation for the public speaking class thank you assalamualaikum